Yo, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, more Doomfist, and let's let's go lock it in. Let's see if we can bring it back. We brought it back to 8 and 11, I think, overall right now. We get three more wins, we go net even for this season, which I'd be happy with for the first season of however long this challenge lasts. Uh, this this challenge has no real end date in mind. You know, if they make a whole new competitive system a second time or something, I don't think I'm going to grind this any faster. I've been wanting to learn Doom for a while, and it's a character that takes a lot of time to learn. So this series will probably go on for a long, long, long time. Like, the, the Ryan Bronson GM was like 266 episode. I have the feeling that Doom unranked the GM that I'm doing here will probably be close to 400. If I had to put a guess on it. But maybe it'll go faster. I guess we'll see. Either way, I'll see you when the game starts. All right, looks like we found a game. I don't think I see any repeats in here. The range is really narrow though, like Diamond 4 to 5. I do wonder why they don't just let you see the ranks of individual players, like again, because I, I don't really think that was a bad thing. I think it's definitely nice to know what you're working with. I mean, in, in this lobby, it doesn't matter. Everyone's like the exact same rank pretty much here. But in a lot of other lobbies, when you have a range of like, I think in, in one of the earlier games, we had a range of like gold one to diamond one or something. And when you have a range that big, it really helps to know who's who because there is real target priority when it comes to targeting the worst player, right? So for example, let's say you have a, a diamond DPS with a gold mercy, you know to target the mercy. If it's vice versa, it might actually be worth killing the DPS because he might just miss enough shots that the mercy yeah, can't have heal it. Yeah, yeah. A rare voice chat game. I love playing Doom and I hate playing Doom. <laughs> I feel you, man. You know I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love playing Doom and then they pull out the Sombra Kree and it's like, well, pull out Sombra, well maybe, maybe not. Versa. I don't really mind the. I, I feel like the tank counter picks don't really matter for Doom, but I don't know. Those are my real thoughts, by the way. I genuinely don't think tanks have anything to do with them. Can't tell if that Junker was deliberately missing or just bad. Yeah, I mean, like, these games are... I don't know. I, I waited, like, a month between the last two games and the first, like, ten. And the games are much easier. Oh, the Life Weaver swap, I don't like too much, but to be fair, against their team, Brig does minimal. I mean, it's not bad to have, but Brig, Brig, Kiri... It, like, it always depends on what you're up against and, and how it's being played. But I think in this scenario, I can I can understand the swap wholeheartedly. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that might have been... Uh, a little bit of an overshoot on my part. Uh, Ram is low. Yeah, the instant Kree swap, as you come to expect. At least it's Kree. I mean, Kree is cringe as hell when it comes to that nade. But at the same time, I love playing him not because of the nade, but he is the he is the most satisfying. I feel like primary to hit shots with on DPS for me personally, and it sucks because he's tied with that stupid ass nade. Hello. Wow, that thing still lasts forever. Wait, Briggs at our spawn? <laughs> I didn't think Brig would be there. I'll be real. I thought I'd be able to stall Ram there. My team would respawn. We kill Ram. I did not expect their Brig to just rotate all the way back. That was kind of wild. I punched him out of it! 
That's so unlucky. I can guarantee you that was unintentional. What the fuck do you think you're doing, McCree? Uh, no ult here. I just, uh... I could have ulted to live there, but we're, we're down most of our team. It's not worth it. Yeah, let's try to lock in a little bit more, I guess. I will say I'm I'm definitely I'm making like a mental note to always jump whenever I ult. Like do like a little slam thing. Instead of just punching like I used to. I punched there just in case he didn't die as fast as he did, because he was a pretty guaranteed kill there. Get out of here. We need someone else. <laughs> I need heals, I need heals, I need heals! On a point. Where's the brig? Where's the brig? I missed. I, I do need to get better at landing my punches. That's going to be something I get down as the series goes on. Cool part with this series, like, from me, from the, the Rhine series I did, the Mega series I did, those are, like, expected. It's just, like, I'm going to be grinding anyway. This series is unironically me learning the character. Like, you're watching me from ground zero start to hit more punches, hit more shots, you know, play a little smarter. Or worse, depending on the day. And I do think that's at least super neat for me, because I do look back at a lot of my own videos like two years after I post them, and having stuff like this would be super neat if I had it for my other characters. Like, if I could go back and watch my early round, that would be really interesting. Okay, now we ult to... Uh, I don't think we'd lose onto there. Not my finest ult. Uh, I'm gonna just like, so dead. I did see them use their tree nade. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. I forgot we had a carry, honestly. <laughs> it's unfortunate that it doesn't seem like that staircase works like many other things do. I mean, dude, this guy keeps holding it in front of me. You'd think a Kree player would, would know about Doom. Like, that you can get punched out of ult. But this guy, he's... Like, the, uh, that one, he just stood there and took it. The one before, he he not only... Like, stood there and took it. He, like, dropped in front of me to make sure I couldn't miss the punch. It was, a uh, Shit's wild. You take this. Okay. They are putting up a decent hold here. But we're also putting up a decent attack. Have to mash Q there to live. Hello, Ana. I'm dead. Yeah. There's, there's like nothing that Kree even has to do. He just sees me punch. Oh, he was, he was just mashing E on cooldown. Okay. <laughs> you just see it tick down on the kill cam there. Yeah, overall, very solidly close game here. Tracer just being annoying for the usual. Wasting my block a little, but I don't think they'll know that. 
You know, I, I think it is. I keep getting caught out whenever I punch and slam and having no cooldowns. Like, when I'm getting nated by that tree there, so it's bad. not just complete bullshit. Nice. That nano ended up being real good. Looks nice. like I got some fat slamming the punch. That nah, wasn't all me, but that was, that was good stuff all around. <laughs> Huge nano too. Yeah. <laughs> it was mainly the nano, I'll be real. I, I didn't do too, too much there. But that's that's what I recognize. When I die to that tree nade, I'm like, yes, he's mashing nade, but he's always mashing nade. And I, I it's a, it's possible to avoid it. If it's just Kree nade, it's possible to avoid it. Whenever the Sombra gets added on with the Kree nade, at that point, you're really reliant on your team to bait one of the two cooldowns so that you can focus on the other one. Um, but with just Kree nade there, if I am a bit more conservative with my slam use or my punches or whatever, I think that one was off an ult to be fair. But even then, I, I think I, I punched out that way instead of punching into safety. Uh, which is just always an option. You can always use Doom Mobility to get out. That's the that's the most important thing. He's Doom and like Winston, they have this leap, the same leap right here. They genuinely have like the exact same thing. Uh, and they both can be used just to get out. And they should be used a lot of time to get out. And I keep going deeper in. Because I, I keep wanting to. <laughs> That's very obnoxious. Uh, yeah, so there's the hog pit. Assuming that's for me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was free. He went around that corner. I'm not getting... But see, I almost I almost made that same mistake. I almost went in on the Kree there. If I hit slam to chase there, I get naded. I probably live, to be honest. But I could have died very easily. And that would have been my fault if I... Wow, that's so unlucky for that tracer. But it would have been my fault if I had. I'm in. No, you did not res that. What the hell? <laughs> Use this. Oh, uh, she didn't actually go in. No, I'm just a fucking idiot. Yeah, they're not really pushing or doing anything anymore. Let them know. Should have went up there. I, I actually just should have let the slam finish. I got too greedy with gun for that punch. It's another just cooldown wasted. Like that. That's what I'm talking about with Doom. It's always, well, not always. If it, like I said, if they hard, 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 hard kind of pick you. If it's free somber, I genuinely don't know the answer. And, and most teams don't. The good teams I know, like my, my man Psycom, he literally just says like play super safe and hope your team kind of covers your ass and baits out one of those cooldowns. Because if they don't do that, I mean it's. I just don't want to win. Oh. My god. Uh, they're all in like the room where I'm getting rest. Nice. <laughs> Didn't mean to go over the roof. I was trying to stall on it. You'd see he's just playing mystery here. I'm just playing better doom. That's really all there is to it. They did swap the Kree, which is interesting. I mean, to be for my DPS are crack. They're making this game much easier, and I've been able to get away with a lot more mistakes because I rolled the better DPS. That's a privilege I've been afforded. Yep, baited out both rock and sleep. I'd love to see it. On it down. Missed the soldier. Good. 
Yeah, I mean, we're just, we're clean with it. Like, I'm, I'm noticing my mistakes more, I feel, this game. I think because I'm so uninvolved, it, a big thing with, with comp, I found it easiest to climb when I care least about doing it, right? So when I'm Masters 1, like, two games away from GM5, I'm gonna play notably worse than when I'm just grinding, just for the sake of grinding. Like, right now, I'm just grinding for the sake of, of grinding. I'm just like, okay, if I get in more games, eventually I'll get you in. Uh, I couldn't fucking... My bad, my bad. They're, they come around the back. Sorry, in soldier. I threw that point just straight up. I, I was... Do relax, because the fights have been so easy. And that's my bad. Genuinely tossed that. Yeah, we gotta play another, like, four minutes. Should I have touch? I don't think so. I don't think that was the play. Soldier kind of looked like it maybe I should have. I don't know. But yeah, now they have a Zen, so I have to lock in on him. Initiating with slam, another mistake that I keep making. You cannot slam in unless you know you're gonna get a kill. You know you can get a... The slam is the 7 second cooldown, punch is the 3 second cooldown. You gotta actually treat him that way. But his end didn't see me, which is unfortunate. Or he did and he just actively didn't shoot that at me. I got the Kree back. It's N1. Never mind, never mind. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't gonna go that deep, but when I saw Serge like lock in there, I'm like, okay, well, let's try to help him. I was, I, I realized I was a bit deep. I was just like crushing them for the lows. But that was, uh... yeah. Even when people are bubble, I can still punch them off. Except this on a, I can't do that. Okay, I gotta punch him off here. I have to focus on him more. Sorry, yeah. That's already right, juiced. Yeah. You need to stop shooting him for a bit. That's fine. That Zen peaked on like three health, huh? And see right there, me and me of ten minutes ago, I would have punched in on that crew like a fucking idiot. Some improvement. Playing more passive is very essential on Doom. Zarya's one, Zarya's one. Dead. Killed her. Nice. We got that kill we got out. I'd love to see it. Yeah, uh, just something I'm definitely noticing in Demons. I was I was playing too aggressive. I mean, I do that in Ryan too because I get bored. But when I did Ryan before, I was able to do that. Like if you're playing in a state of the game where everything was balanced in a way, you could really get away with over aggressing on Ryan, and I, I love to abuse that. I I thought I popped my ult, my bad. I swear I press Q right about here, and then Back I still die. That's so annoying. Winnable, winnable. Uh, oh my god, it caught trans. That's huge, winnable, winnable, winnable. Hey, Zen behind, Zen behind. Turn around. Dead. Zen is in our back lane. Nice. Nice. Clean. I ended up getting some biggest slams there, which was which was definitely very essential. But I, I kinda got carried, I'm not gonna lie. I talked all that. I talked myself up about how much I'm improving and how much I'm noticing my improvement. And then I just went along and, and made a bunch of dumb plays and 
Release. But yeah, that was a good overall. Yeah, GG. Yeah, there we go. Another another game won. We've won a few in a row now. No, we, we lost like eight in a row last time. Uh, but now we've won the last three. It's some good progress. I'm pretty happy with that. Actually, curious. I want to see my match history. See, uh, like how I was doing before, how I'm doing now. Let's see. Yeah, we're still in calibration, I guess, for two million games. But I want to see: is it this match history still here, or has it been too long? I think there was a few patches between. Oh wait, game reports. Oh yeah, I played the April Fool's mode to just check it out. You can see it two weeks ago. That's when I lost like eight in a row. And now I came back and it's win, win, win. Like beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Either way, hope you all enjoyed that one. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.